Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Banished. And I have something very cool to share with you. Some of you, uh, there's a couple of you actually, that were kind enough to fill me in on something that I was totally not aware of, and that is this. This fluffy puff that I've been holding on forever can actually be planted. Totally didn't know that. And that's awesome. Um, <laughs> that... I don't know if the growth spell will work on it. Oh, it totally will. And then we can harvest that and get four fluffy puffs. And these can be planted uh, and regrown. And then the fluffy puffs themselves can be crafted into feathers and string and all sorts of really useful stuff like that. So that is something that I wish I had known uh, a while ago. Um, but... You can also tell how far in advance I'm pre-recording these because the uh, the the episode that you guys all told me that was like episode seven <laughs> or something like that. And we're all now all the way up to, I think, episode 18. Uh, but thank you for letting me know that will make getting feathers a lot easier. And feathers are not something that I've really been able to get a whole lot of uh, without using uh, this sort of trickery. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grow a full... Eh, do I want to do the full field? I don't really need carrots. Maybe I'll do the full field of fluffy puffs, and then I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, I am back. I decided not to go the entire field. I left a little 4x4 of carrots over here, just in case I need them for anything. But these fluffy puffs, these things are pretty cool. So let's just take a look at them really quick. Fluffy puffs. And we can make them into wool. We can make them into feathers. We can make them into armor. That's interesting. And then we can make them into string. Mostly, I'm interested in being able to make them into feathers. Because feathers are kind of hard to come by. Uh, so, we now have a source of infinite feathers, which is wonderful. Um, but, in today's episode, what I want to do is dive a little bit more into Aura Cascade. Um, if we make... A few things, it's going to get us a lot closer to being able to make this Ring of Binding. So the first thing I want to make is this Cascading Brewer. It will basically allow me to brew potions, but the reason I want it is because as a reward, I get 16 blue aura crystals and 16 red aura crystals. And that is really useful for me. So let's take a look at the Cascading Brewer and see what we need to make that thing. Uh, here it is. So Vortex Infusion, we need orange, and just four orange gems. Okay, that should be doable. Um, let's see, do I have, where are my gems? Here they are. I have one. So let's take a look at the orange gem. There it is. And that would be orange ingots and a diamond. Okay. So, let's grab some wool. Um, I'm going to need three of these. So that means I need nine wool. And then I need nine iron ingots. There we go. All right, and let's come out here. And we need to do this. Right here at the cascading processor. So I'll throw my wool and my ingots there. And I have my ring of magnetization equipped. Let's uh let's take that off. Try this again. So nine. Nine. There we go. And Okay, I'm not picking it up. Good. All right, so we'll power that with some torches. We'll let this do its thing, and these will start slowly turning into the orange gems that we need. Now, I also need to grab a few diamonds. I will need three of those. One, two, three. There we go. Because I'm going to need those to make the orange gems as well. While we're waiting on that, let's also take a look and see what we need to make the... Enchanting the, the kaleidoscopic enchanter right here because this will give me a few different aura crystals as well And that might just be a really useful thing to have 
since it can enchant stuff for me. So, let's take a look at that. Kaleidoscopic Enchanter. That needs four black gems. Okay. And let's take a look at the brewer, the brewer one more time. Okay. So, actually, that's all pretty doable. Um, do I have... I thought I had a bunch of... Hmm. Let's just grab... I might not have enough black wool, actually. I might have to go hunting for some black wool. Where are... Everything is so disorganized. Ah, I've got it all organized, and then I didn't play for a while. And now I don't remember where everything is. It's been at least a few days since I've played any Banished. Um, doesn't look like I actually have any of my gems. I thought I did, but... Okay. Well, I'm gonna get ready to make some of these. I think I'm gonna have to do some sheep harvesting, some sheep shearing. Sheep shearing? That's really hard to say. Uh, and I'm gonna work on that for a bit. I'll let this kind of do its thing, and then I'll be right back with ya. Alright guys, I am back, and... It has been about 20 minutes or so, and I am only, I am still working on my second, uh, my second gem. So, this thing takes a while. Um, it helps if you remember to keep it fueled. But regardless, uh, this thing takes a little while. So I think what I'm going to do to kind of speed up the process a little bit is I'm actually going to make a second one of those. Uh, let's go into here. And if I remember correctly, the recipe is like that. There we go. We got a second vortex controller. And then I also need four vortex pedestals. So I'm going to need some gold and some redstone. So let's grab that as well. And we'll do that. And this will make... Four nodes. Actually, you know what? I'm going to need a bunch of nodes anyway. Let me just make a couple of those, I think. Let's make like five batches. And this will just give me a whole bunch of nodes. Which is what I really need. There we go. So 24 nodes. That should last me a while. Why am I putting that in there? That's not where it goes. And you're actually supposed to be in here. Ah, oh, the disorganization. Okay. The next thing that I want is I want another pump so that I can power the whole thing. So we got to start out with the burning pump. Let's grab... Oh, I thought I was almost out of lapis for a minute there. I was going to freak out because I was like, no way am I that low on lapis. I am running really low on iron, though, it looks like. I'm going to have to go on a mining adventure here pretty soon, it seems. So let's make one of those. And I think we'll go ahead and upgrade it to an illumination pump right away. Uh, if I do not have the resources handy. Was it three? Four. I need four. Okay, so we'll go make four of these things. One. There we go. Oh, I picked it up. So there. And then one, two, three, four. There we go. Okay, so we'll get that going. And then I just got to set up a second one. And I'm going to set this one up a little bit differently. Because I want it to be... Oh, oh actually, I need four of these pumps, don't I? Because I want to have separate pumps so that I can put different types of aura into them. Um, so, let's actually make a few more burning pumps. And I'm gonna need a lot more wool. This is gonna take me a little longer than I thought, guys. Give me a moment, and I'll be back with ya. Alright, guys, I am back, and I've got everything I need to make another one of these vortex, uh, controller, one of these vortex crafters. However, um... The problem is, if I set it up in this room, it's probably going to interfere with my other ones because these nodes will connect. And that is not what I want. So, I think the easiest solution is to actually just set it up in a new room. And we've got all this space over here that we can be using 
So I think I'm going to take advantage of that. I do kind of want to get the room uh, looking pretty, though. So maybe we'll make this kind of the centerpiece over here. Hmm. I got to figure out how I want to do this. Um, let me go ahead and get the room prepped, guys, and I'll be back with you in just a moment. All right, guys, I am back, and it looks like our brewer is now finished, which is good. So let's go ahead and get started on the black gems that I'm going to need for the enchanter thingy. Uh, and now that the brewer's done, let's go ahead and... Oh, I got a couple of the quests I can turn in as well. Let's do that. Here we go, Aura Theory. So we got this done, and I'm going to go with the red aura crystals just so we have a little bit of variety and we're gonna put all the aura crystals in here that's where my other arcane gems went i was wondering about that anyway i'm gonna put the brewer away and we'll put our stone bricks away as well and i have the room all prepped and ready to go look at that is that not beautiful I mean, come on. You gotta love it. I really actually like the design of this base. It's very simple, and it gets the job done. Uh, and it doesn't look bad, which isn't... which that I mean, that's pretty impressive, considering what we're kind of working with in uh, this mod pack. It's a little bit... Uh, you know, it's one of those things. It's one of those things. Let's just leave it at that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to find a place to set this up. Is this an odd number? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It is. So, this row... Ooh, hello. Those were off for some reason. Whatever. I'll fix them later. Um, so I think we're going to put it just like right here, right in the middle of the room, which I think is actually right here. I think it's an odd number going this way as well. So we'll put this right in the center of the room. Then we're going to go ahead and put down our pedestals just like this. And now we're going to hook up the aura nodes and here is where it's going to get a little bit different i want each of these aura nodes to be on a separate uh rotation if you will so that way we can put you know purple aura in one blue aura in another etc cetera, etc cetera. and i think what we're gonna do let's see so this is usually the complicated one so we'll put that right up there and then i you know what i actually need some building blocks one second here let's just grab some and we might as well grab stone just let's just grab smooth stone and a chisel because then i can fix that uh those couple of blocks that were messed up in the floor as well how you doing new torch for you uh anyway so let's see what were those poison those were the poison ones. So we'll go here. And bop, bop, there we go. Okay. So now, as I said, I want each of these to be on a separate elevation level. So we're going to go like this. And you are going to run into the mage light. Let's get rid of that. There we go. And we'll put an aura node under each of those just like that there we go and then hmm probably best not to use the mining beam up here I might mess something up so let's just do that there we go oh and I just realized I'm turning those into cobble oops oh well that's fine Okay, so now we've got that going, and we should basically just be able to go like this. You go there. You go there. You go... Oh, there. And you go 
Oh, can I reach that? Nope, can't reach it. Um, that's okay. I can stand on top of this pump that I'm going to have to put right here. And we'll jump. There we go. Okay. And then we just have to put our pumps in, which would go like this. And now each of those is connected to a different pedestal, which is going to be really... Okay. Are they going to break my farms? Because if they break my farms, I will be very upset. Botania room looks good. I don't know what root riot means. All seems well. I think we're okay. Uh, anyway. So, as I was saying, if we go back into our quest book and take a peek, you'll notice that this ring of binding, which is right here, requires different colors of aura. So it needs 50,000 yellow, 50,000 red, 50,000 blue, 50,000 iron, or 50,000 of any. So this way we can put... Oh, hello. That must be the root riot. Um, can I get out there and kill it? I'm going to kill it. There we go. I got it. Oh, wow. That was a, that was quite the slowness effect there, but I think I'm okay. And we're going to put another aura node up here or another mage light. I should say maybe in that corner as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So looking at this ring of binding, we need yellow, red, blue, and white. So let's take a look. I know I've got a couple of those. We've got blue and we've got red. Let's see how we make yellow. Yellow. Um. Here we go. Or a crystal yellow. So white ones surrounding yellow wool. Okay, that will work. And the white ones were iron and gold. All right. So... If we make, oh man, I'm going to run myself out of iron. It's a good thing I've got equivalent exchange. There we go. So let's make some of those. And then let's grab, am I out of yellow wool too? I am. Holy cow. All right. Well, let's use, mag let's use brown. I, no, I, I, there's a use for brown. Um, let's get rid of some blue. There we go. And what we can do, since we have equivalent exchange, is I can put my blue wool in here and get yellow instead. There we go. Now, as I was saying, before I was so rudely interrupted, uh, we can go and make ourselves some yellow aura crystals, just like that. And then I should probably make some white ones, too. Am I completely out of iron now? I think I might be. Yeah, pretty close. Okay. Well, you know what we're going to do? I've got a bunch of diamonds, more than I need right now. And I've got a couple emeralds. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to equivalent exchange myself a stack of iron. Uh, because I'm running very, very low on it for some reason. I'll probably have to go... I'll probably have to go mining and find someone the old, some the old-fashioned way, but that's fine. Um, I'm going to need more than that. Let's go and make a bit more. There we go. That should be enough. So now I've got... Oh, actually. Let's just make sure we have even numbers. There we go. We now have 16 of all of those. Now, for that ring of binding, what else did we need? We needed a a redstone block, an iron block, a diamond block, and a gold block. Okay? So, iron block, gold block, diamond block. Oh, come back, diamonds. And a redstone block. There we go. And then I think I can put 
pretty much all of that stuff away. And now we just need to make sure that we set this up properly. So the first thing that I want to do is get these pumps going so that they're pumping right away as soon as I start putting the aura in. All right, now coming from this side, we're going to put down our blocks. And I believe, let's just double check this. Aha, uh -huh. blue, yellow, red, iron. Blue, yellow, red, iron. Okay, so diamond block goes there. Gold goes there. Red goes there. And iron goes there. And let's just make sure that all looks correct. Uh huh. Yup. Good. Okay. So now we just need to put in the aura. So I'm going to put eight aura in here. Uh, eight in there. And is this... Is this not doing a thing? What do you mean no valid recipe selected? Oh, because it doesn't have the... It doesn't have all the aura yet. Right. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So now, once these start getting aura... Why does it say... Oh, that's why. Because this got derped up. There we go. There we go. So now it's making the ring of binding. And I'm just going to go ahead and put torches down. So that all of these pumps keep doing their thing. Hopefully until this thing is done. And we'll just put another light down here. They seem redundant, but these torches are going to disappear over time. So that's making my ring of binding for me. That's awesome. And over here, looks like one of our black gems is finished. So let's go get another one going, because I also want to make that enchanting thingy. So let's grab another diamond. There we go. And we'll go one, two, three, four. And torch, torch, torch. There we go. So that'll start working towards the next black gem, because I need four of those things before everything will be good to go. This one is actually going a lot faster, and it's probably because all the aura is in here, and it's going, uh, it's all dropping into each pump. So in, rather than over here, where all of my aura is being split equally between the four, so this one seems to be going way faster, which isn't really a bad thing. Um, yeah, that should be done pretty quickly, actually. Let's take a look at our quest book and just see if there's anything else. Okay, this will give us the fairy ring, which is what we need. And then that's going to open up all of these quests as well. We can also look at protection amulets. Um, those I don't really need at the moment. This sort of transmutation sounds really interesting as well. It says I can transmute certain mobs or animals into a different form. Um, so that might be interesting too. But I'm going to let these, uh, I'm going to let these finish up, guys. And, uh, once this is all done and once I've got everything ready from this one, I'll come back to you. All right, guys, I am back and I think... I have just about everything. This one's almost done. It's not quite, but once that's done, then I can start working on the whatever you call it, uh, the other thingy. So the fairy charm is done as well. So let's go ahead and claim this. That gives us three blank fairy charms, I believe. And then I can use those for various things. So like if I want the Bader fairy, which is this, which will summon animals for me. I need one of those fairy charms that we just got as a reward, and then I need four eggs as well. And I don't know if I have any eggs or if I can even... I'm not really sure how to get eggs. Let's take a look and see. Is there any way to just... No, can't... Uh, 
I can't craft them. Is there a way to get them through equivalent exchange? Do I have eggs in here by any chance? Doesn't seem that way. Okay. So basically, I need a chicken. I need a chicken in order to do that. Um, or I need to find an egg. Or find a chicken growing naturally in the wild, which I have a feeling is rather unlikely. Uh, let's look at some of these other things, though. Terrify mobs. We got a fairy that will fight with me, which is pretty cool. Oh, there's the last one. Hello, Gem. Let's go ahead and get that next, uh, the enchanting thing cooking up here. There we go. And that's going to make the kaleidoscopic enchanter, which is pretty nifty. Now, let's see... Where were we? Oh, yes, we were looking at fairy charms. That's right. There's also the Fetcher Fairy, but I already have the Ring of Magnetization, so I don't really need that. Um, actually, you know what? Come to think of it, I can get eggs. I can use the dark power that I have to get eggs. That is probably what I should do. Where is my player focus? It seems to have disappeared. Did I dump it in this chest right here? No. Uh-oh. Where is it? I know I've got it somewhere. Did I... What did I do with it? I had it earlier. Is it tied up in a quest of some sort? Did I, like... Hmm. I don't... seem to have it. Let me see if I can find it, guys. I'll be right back with you. Alright, guys. I found it. It was hiding on me. I hid it in a chest and stashed it like a noob. But that's okay. We'll go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and just claim this one, like, four times. And that should give us everything we need to get... There we go. That's all done. So now... Oh, not the Ring of Binding. Now we should have all the eggs we need to make the Bader Fairy, which I believe essentially... Uh, let's see. How does this work? Does it go... Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. So it goes... It doesn't work when I have a, a second. Oh! Is it just summoning random chickens? Like, what just happened? Did it just randomly summon a chicken? Or something? I'm, I'm very confused. I guess it just randomly summons... Hmm. Let's see if we can figure out how this whole thing works. So if we go back into Aura Theory... Let's see. Okay, in their simple charm form, they do nothing and require a ring to work. Okay. So basically... I think these fairies just do random things. But I'll go ahead and... Sp I'll claim my, my chicken. I will totally claim a chicken, without a doubt. And I will be very happy about it. Let's go ahead and equip this. And we'll see if randomly animals start spawning again. Because that's basically what this fairy is supposed to do. It's supposed to just randomly, like, spawn animals. Maybe there's, like, a large cooldown on it? I'm not really sure. Um, but... It's pretty cool. I think. And it took forever to get, so it better be cool. That's all I'm going to say. Is this thing almost done? It's getting there. Definitely need to retorch these pumps, though, because they're not really doing it at the moment. There we go. All right. So, I think that's pretty good. And you know what, guys? I think I am going to go ahead and end this episode right here. Guys, if you enjoyed this video... 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.